This is another video. My daughter, who likes playing the electric guitar, asked me to engineer her a distortion pedal. So using some spare parts, um, I was able to do that. So I created this little pedal. The box is a little makeshift, but um, it works. So uh, the way it works is it's wired off of an LM386 chip. Um, that LM386 functions as an amplifier. And the key to this circuit is after the, amplifi after the amplification, which provides all the gain for the circuit, the signal, which is now amplified, runs through this big capacitor, which is a thousand microfarad, and then goes through these two diodes. And before the signal is given to the output, jack, which is there, um, the two diodes, which are wired in opposite directions uh, to ground from the output of the signal. And then the signal goes to the output jack. The input jack comes from the um, guitar, which is a quarter inch um, audio plug. And so I wired them into the box like so, and here's the output one. And uh, I don't know if you can see, but back there is the battery, which is taped to the back of the box. Um, and it's a nine volt battery that supplies the entire circuit. There's some decoupling capacitors um, between power and ground. And the rest is just a straightforward um, wiring of the LM386 IC. It was a little creative here. I didn't have a guitar pedal foot switch, so I have this old switch, this uh, plain old switch that we're going to use temporarily. Um, this is the gain potentiometer, which is wired between pins one and eight of the. Um, LM386 and this just swivels back and forth. Um, the on off switch is there. I used a wood burning tool to make this design on the front just to make it exciting looking. Um, and I wired an LED light in parallel so that you know if it's on or off and if you turn it on that happens. So I thought that was a cool little touch. But anyway, the distortion pedal was designed to have a harsh sound to make it equivalent to James Hetfield's rhythm guitar in Metallica. Now, I don't know how to play the guitar, but um, I will try to test the sound out. So let's see how it goes. see this. Here's the guitar. Do, do, do. Input. Cable is here. This is wired to an amp on the lowest volume because you have such significant amplification. This is with everything off. Now let's turn it on. distortion effect. So let's make an attempt at trying to play something.
nice dirty sound of distortion with its nice effect. And um, we'll see how it goes when she plays it. That's with the gain on low. Now let's turn the gain way up. And let's see what happens. Now we're talking. Let's try my attempt at Master of Puppets again. That is the Doom guitar pedal at its best. This is all hooked to the amp, which is right here. And notice the volume setting on the amp is almost zero. And this is a tiny little amp. So, you can imagine the sound that'll come out of this. Anyway, whoever's watching, if you want to interested in building it, it's very easy, very straightforward, and only requires maybe four or five bucks worth of stuff. So, thanks everyone. <laughs>